the cat got a bird it looks like it's going to eat it yes bubbles living things depend on one another for food some animals eat plants to survive while others eat animals like this cat is going to eat the bird different organisms depend on each other in different ways Let's take a closer look at these relationships. For example, let's look at the cat and bird. In this process, the cat is a predator. A predator is an organism that kills and eats another organism. The bird was the organism that was killed, so it is the prey. Oh, must a predator always be an animal? And what about the prey? Good question. Both predator and prey can be either animals or plants. For example, if a goat eats a plant and the plant is unable to grow again since its reproductive parts are eaten, that would make the plant a prey and the goat a predator. The flytrap is a plant that feeds on insects. It attracts insects through its color and nectar. Once the insects land on its leaves, it traps them and slowly digests them. This relationship between a predator and its prey is known as predation. So predation is a process in which one organism kills and eats another organism. Can you name a few prey and predators other than cats and birds? Lions and tigers are predators that eat goats, deer, and zebras. So goats, deer, and zebras are prey. Well done, Bubbles. Lizards and frogs are predators as well for insects like flies, grasshoppers, and mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. It hurts when they bite me. You are providing food to these mosquitoes. So I am a prey and the mosquito is the predator? No, you don't die when a mosquito bites you. This is another type of relationship. Mosquitoes suck your blood to survive. They also spread dangerous diseases like malaria and dengue. Such organisms are called parasites because it benefits from harming you. You are the host for these organisms as they are feeding on you. This relationship between a parasite and its host is called parasitism. Parasites can be found both outside and inside an organism's body. Parasites that live outside their host bodies are called ectoparasites. Lice and bed bugs are examples of these parasites. Lice are parasites of humans, birds, and many other mammals. In humans, they're usually found in hair. They feed on their host's blood. Similarly, bed bugs also feed on humans' blood. They can bite humans on any part of their body. Their bites appear as red spots which are often itchy. On the other hand, parasites that live inside their host body are called endoparasites. An example of such parasites is the roundworm. They can be found in humans' intestines which cause abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and visible worms in stool. That is horrible. Yes it is. But don't worry. There are some relationships that are often advantage to both organisms. For example, look at that bird. It's continuously following that grazing cow. This bird is a cattle egret. It's quite common to find birds following cows, buffaloes and zebras for food. But how can a buffalo or cow give food to a bird? Birds follow the grazing animals and eat bugs and flies that tend to bother them. Sometimes they also eat parasites like lice and bugs on the animals' bodies. 
In this way, the birds get their food from these animals, and the buffaloes or zebras get rid of the parasites on their body. Aw, that's nice! A bird known as the oxpecker is often found riding on zebras. In case of any danger, like an approaching predator, these birds fly up and make a noise to warn the zebras. Such a relationship where both organisms benefit from each other is called mutualism. Hmm, so different organisms have different relationships with each other. Some eat others, some harm and feed on others and some help each other. That's right. Well done, Bubbles. Time to summarize. Living things depend on one another. There are three main types of relationships between living things. The relationship in which one organism kills and eats another organism is called predation. The organism that kills is called a predator, while the one eaten is called a prey. The relationship in which one organism harms and feeds on another organism is called parasitism. Parasites are organisms that feed on other organisms known as hosts. A relationship between two organisms in which both benefit from each other is called mutualism. <laughs>